Title, Delhi Sultanate, a crucial epoch in the subcontinent's history. Introduction, the Delhi Sultanate stands as a pivotal chapter in the annals of the Indian subcontinent's history. Spanning over five centuries, from the early 13th to the 16th century, it marked an era of significant political, cultural, and social transformations. Emerging from the aftermath of the decline of the Gupta Empire, the Delhi Sultanate ushered in a new phase characterized by the amalgamation of Persian, Central Asian, and indigenous Indian influences. This essay explores the dynamics of the Delhi Sultanate, examining its rise, administration, societal changes, and enduring legacy. Rise of the Delhi Sultanate the establishment of the Delhi Sultanate traces back to 1206 CE, when Kutbud Din Ibak, a prominent general of the Ghurid Empire, laid the foundations of the slave dynasty after the defeat of the Chahamana Rajputs. Ibak's reign marked the beginning of Muslim rule in the Indian subcontinent. Subsequent rulers, such as Iltutmish and Balban, expanded the Sultanate's territories, consolidating power through administrative reforms and military conquests. The Sultanate's capital, initially established at Delhi, became a centre of political authority and cultural exchange. Administration and Governance The administration of the Delhi Sultanate was characterised by a blend of centralised authority and decentralised governance. Kutbu Din Ibak laid the foundation of the Sultanate's administrative structure, while Iltutmish further refined it, introducing the ICTA system to enhance revenue collection and territorial control. Under Alauddin Khalji's rule, the Sultanate witnessed unprecedented centralization and expansion, with the institution of price controls, market regulations, and administrative reforms aimed at strengthening the state's fiscal and military apparatus. Societal transformations The Delhi Sultanate era witnessed significant societal changes, including the introduction of Persianate culture, language, and architectural styles. Iltutmish's patronage of Persian scholars and poets enriched the cultural milieu of the Sultanate, fostering a synthesis of Indian and Persian traditions. The Sultanate's architectural legacy, exemplified by structures such as the Qutub Minar and the Alai Darwaza, reflects the fusion of Indo-Islamic architectural styles. Furthermore, the spread of Sufism during this period contributed to religious syncretism, promoting social cohesion and tolerance. Notable Rulers and Achievements Kutbu Din Ibak, the founder of the Slave Dynasty, established the Sultanate's political authority and initiated the construction of the iconic Qutub Minar in Delhi. Iltutmish, renowned for his administrative acumen, stabilized the Sultanate and expanded its territorial reach, laying the groundwork for subsequent dynasties. Alauddin Khalji's reign witnessed significant military conquests and administrative reforms, including the introduction of the market control system, Diwani Riyasat, and the expansion of the empire's frontiers to the Deccan region. Muhammad bin Tughlaq, though infamous for his ambitious but ill-fated policies, such as the transfer of the capital to Dalatabad and the introduction of token currency, also made significant contributions to administrative and military reforms. Razia Sultan was one of the few female rulers in the medieval period of the Indian subcontinent. She was the daughter of Sultan il Tutmish, the ruler of the Delhi Sultanate. Born in 1205, Razia Sultan received military training alongside her brothers and displayed exceptional leadership qualities. After the death of her father, Razia's half-brother, Ruknuddin Firuz, ascended the throne but proved to be an ineffective ruler. With the support of the nobility and the people, Razia Sultan eventually seized power and became the Sultan of Delhi in 1236, marking her as the first and only female ruler of the Delhi Sultanate. Razia Sultan's reign was marked by her efforts to promote administrative reforms, uphold justice, and foster religious tolerance. She appointed capable officials based on merit rather than birth, which earned her admiration among her subjects. However, her rule faced challenges from conservative factions within the nobility who opposed being ruled by a woman. Despite her efforts, Razia Sultan's reign was short-lived and turbulent. Internal dissent and external invasions led to her eventual overthrow and death in 1240. Nevertheless, Razia Sultan's legacy as a pioneering female ruler and her attempts to reform the Delhi Sultanate administration endure in historical memory. Challenges and Decline 
Despite its achievements, the Delhi Sultanate faced numerous challenges, including external invasions, internal rebellions, and administrative inefficiencies. The invasion of Timur in the early 15th century resulted in widespread destruction and weakened the Sultanate's authority. Moreover, the emergence of regional powers, such as the Vijayanagara Empire and the Bahmani Sultanate, further fragmented the political landscape, hastening the Sultanate's decline. Legacy, despite its eventual demise in the early 16th century with the arrival of the Mughals, the Delhi Sultanate left an indelible mark on the Indian subcontinent. It laid the groundwork for subsequent Muslim dynasties, shaping the cultural, linguistic, and architectural landscape of the region. The syncretic legacy of the Delhi Sultanate, characterized by the fusion of Persian, Central Asian, and indigenous Indian elements, continues to resonate in contemporary Indian society. Conclusion, the Delhi Sultanate represents a transformative period in the history of the Indian subcontinent, marked by political upheavals, cultural exchanges, and societal transformations. From its humble beginnings under Qutbuddin Aibak, to its eventual decline in the face of external invasions and internal discord, the Sultanate's legacy endures as a testament to the complexities of power, governance, and cultural exchange in medieval India. As we reflect on this epoch, we are reminded of the enduring significance of the Delhi Sultanate in shaping the contours of the subcontinent's history.